Nola Gent here in Chattanooga at Stir at the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. Stir is noted as one of the nicer restaurants in Chattanooga and for having a excellent cocktail program along with an oyster bar. They're located in the Chattanooga Choo Choo Terminal right next to Frothy Monkey Coffee. So let's head on inside and check it out. So you immediately are greeted with a really beautiful interior. They've done some great work with the existing beautiful structure they have to work with with the Chattanooga Choo Choo Terminal. So as we look around, we see they've done some really great interior design. And now the hardest choice we have to decide is to sit at the bar or to sit at a table. I'm gonna choose to sit at a table because I actually have already sat at the bar before and this is my second visit and I last visited here back during the end of February. So it will be nice to get a different perspective on this restaurant from the table instead of the bar. You can see it's a really beautiful view and they have all these huge windows letting in all sorts of light. The exposed ceiling beams add a lot of character. It's just really a beautiful building and environment they've created here. And our oyster bar is right there to the left and we're gonna go check that out a little closer too because I am in the mood for some oysters as it certainly is oyster season now. And they do have a good selection of oysters here. And I think I definitely would get a selection of some of the oysters. And then when you walk past the oyster bar, you can see into the kitchen here. And then as we loop around, we can see the bar from another angle here. It really is a beautiful bar they have here. And their cocktail program is deservedly well noted. They do put a lot of effort into that. So the bar is definitely a great place to hang out at whenever you're in town. Uh, the last time I was here, I'd simply got a beer and then I had a snack of their sliders. And I did enjoy the sliders. And then I also had the salmon cakes, which were also quite enjoyable. So that was a nice little snack in here to get started. But now we're back at the table and I have to decide what I'm gonna have for lunch today. So they have quite a menu on offer today for lunch. So they have oyster and poke bowls, specialty oysters, tuna poke bowl entree, vegan poke bowl entree, then appetizers, cheeseburger egg rolls, seasonal dips, sauteed salmon cakes, Parmesan white truffle fries, spicy chicken samosas, fried green tomatoes, salads and soup, crab bisque, Caesar wedge, iceberg wedge, stir chop salad, chicken chop salad, veggie chop salad, seared tuna salad. And then we have sandwiches with Tillamook cheeseburger, fried green tomato burger, plant-based burger, Tillamook sliders, fish tacos, house-made chicken salad sandwich, BLT and egg sandwich, spicy tuna burger, grilled chicken sandwich, stir hoagie, entrees, crispy mahi bowl, chicken piccata, grilled chicken caprese, roasted vegetables and farro, cast iron desserts, chocolate espresso flourless cake, matcha green tea cheesecake, and then we have sides of roasted potatoes, cheddar grits, fresh cut fruit, hand cut fries, farro, seasonal vegetables, and asparagus. They had two different oysters on their special offerings today, so I got three each to sample each variety. And uh, they definitely looked beautiful, and I dug in quite happily, and they were quite amazingly delicious. They had really great flavor, so we get a few places that offer oysters like this in New Orleans, but mostly we just get the Gulf oysters which are huge, but generally don't have quite the flavor, depth, and characteristics you can get with more cold water oysters. So this was definitely a nice treat to start my meal out with, and they really have some fantastic flavor profiles, and I do enjoy the cold water oysters. I was actually rather surprised that all of the places in Chattanooga that were serving oysters that I visited or researched only seem to be offering West Coast and East Coast cold water oysters. So I found it a bit unusual from my past experience with many places in the South that I didn't see any Gulf oysters. They all seem to have imported oysters from the East or West Coast from cold water sources. So that was uh, quite a change 
and different from most other places that I've seen around the South. So that's a trend that seems to be developing more and more as people have recognized how you can get a lot of variety of flavor with so many different types of oyster. So hopefully we'll start getting a little more variety with our Gulf oysters as well as this develops into more of an industry and more people appreciate the very depth of flavors. Uh, France redeveloped their whole oyster industry with West Coast oysters, so if France can do it and come up with the amazing oysters that they've developed, then certainly I guess we can look forward to more of it being done everywhere. So my dining companion decided to go with the cheeseburger sliders and then they did look delicious, just like uh, they were delicious the last time I had them here. And then I got the grilled chicken caprese with tomatoes, mozzarella, basil, balsamic vinegar, farro, and roasted vegetables. Farro is a dish that I like a lot. Uh, it's not something that I ever see on the menus in New Orleans. The only thing even close that I ever get a hold of is just the wheat berries that they have at the Whole Foods on their buffet. So other than that, I don't ever get a chance to eat any farro at all. So I am really excited whenever a place has this. And actually around Chattanooga, I've seen multiple places offering this. So it does seem to be quite a popular side in the area. And I'm a big fan of it. It always makes me feel really healthy whenever I eat it. I'm a big fan of the wheat berries and the farro. So this is a really great looking dish to me. Uh, everything looks really full of vitamins, fresh and healthy. So this is a very uh, delicious, flavorful dish, and it's giving me a lot of vitamins that I need after my long adventures at Oktoberfest and being in Gatlinburg uh, eating rather heavier meals. So this is a good recharge of my batteries. And that farro does look delicious. I'm quite happy with it. And the flavors of the balsamic vinegar, the mozzarella and the tomatoes in there really accentuate everything in here. But this is a good Mediterranean diet recharge for me. I'm really enjoying this. And the chicken is also cooked quite perfectly. It's not the biggest piece of chicken I've ever seen, but they certainly did grill it to perfection. And it has a perfect balance of flavors. Everything goes together quite well. So I don't know if I could have grilled it better myself. So that's a pretty decent compliment. I'm a decent chicken griller on the grill. I think I might do a little bit better job of the steak. I think the steak's certainly easier to cook on the grill than the chicken. The chicken uh, sometimes can be a little more complicated because uh, you don't eat rare chicken. So if you don't cook the chicken right, it's a lot more obvious and more people are unhappy. I had. Uh, one time in my life where I did not cut the chicken all the way through, that was not, uh, not a good incident. I was not popular that day. I had to go back to the back and grill for a while. So um, definitely rare chicken. Do not do that. Salmonella is not worth the risk. Definitely get your chicken cooked all the way through. Steak, on the other hand, is usually better, a little more on the rare side. But wow, this is a really fantastic dish. Really enjoying it. Everything goes together really well. The service here was really outstanding. They kept my drink refilled and completely above and beyond, offered fantastic attention and service in every way. Um, the only small complaint I could even have about this place is that they had uh, music that was not really to my taste and they had it cranked up a little too loud. And that's why I don't have any audio actually playing for this video as a copyright music issue would have certainly come into play because they had their music cranked up to the loudness level that it would have come through too loudly on this video for me to do anything. So uh, other than the problem with the uh, music of a different taste style genre than I'm into, everything here was top notch and fantastic. And certainly the food is very flavorful, very well done. Um, this is a style of food, even though it's on the Mediterranean uh, realm of the uh, spectrum, it's not something that I really ever am able to eat anything like this in New Orleans. So it definitely is good to have a little change of pace, to have something a little different that's also delicious. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes when I get a change of pace of uh, food outside of New Orleans, it frequently is bland and flavorless. But this place definitely 
puts together fresh food and a combination that really brings out the depths of flavors. Everything on my plate goes together well. Everything is perfectly seasoned, very delicious, and I'm very happy with everything here. It's a beautiful environment, beautiful food, beautiful oysters, and fantastically attentive staff. So everybody here was top notch. My kudos to all aspects of this operation. I haven't had a cocktail here yet, but certainly in the future at some point I will. They truly do have a mind-boggling attention to detail with the cocktails they make here. They uh, take extra time even on their ice. It's amazing. Check out their website to see all of the things that they focus on to make the perfect cocktail here. It's really quite impressive. So when they're taking that much attention to their cocktails, you would have to expect they're doing a similar level of attention to their food and it does show through because this is very nice food. And I really enjoyed my meal here. I also enjoyed my very first experience here back when I just simply ate at the bar with the cheeseburger sliders that were excellent as I mentioned. And also the salmon cakes were also fantastic. In my experience, it hasn't been an easy thing to find a fantastic salmon cake because often they use canned salmon, they fry it to a salmon patty or some other variation. But speaking of fantastic, it would be fantastic if you would smash that subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And I clean my plate for you, so that has to count for something, right? So my total for my meal today was $38.13 before tip. And it's a little sad to leave this place, but we're going right next door to another place. Nolagen here at the terminal. Yeah. So the terminal brewery is right next door to the stir restaurant we were just at and the Chattanooga Choo Choo Terminal. So they do have a patio and they're offering dine-in service for the moment and they will refill your growler. You can do a drive through to get your growler refilled. So it is a uh, rather impressive building right next to the Chattanooga Choo Choo. So let's go ahead and go inside and check it out. Can I get the bar? So I've been in the terminal a couple of times. I've just never seen it that crowded in here. A lot of people seem to hang out on the patio, but actually it just started raining now, so we're not gonna check out the patio. We're gonna just order a beer right here. So let's see what they have on tap. So there's the White Shadow Belgian Wit, the Cure Pale L, South Seidenstein Stout, Magnum PA, West Coast IPA, Malachi Red L, Rock Out With Your Bach Out, Maybach, and Hellbender Hefeweizen. So I put my order in for a red ale with the bartenderess and she got it to me instantly and it's in a full imperial pint that is impressive. So, close. So this brewery does seem to have a lot of seating and it seems to be a pretty cool spot. Um, they do offer food I've never eaten here. At some point in the future, I certainly wouldn't mind uh, having a meal here and enjoying more of the brewery beer. And they have their brewery right here behind the bar. So you can see where the beer is made. That's always a great thing to see. And the environment here is really nice. So it would be an enjoyable time to return here where there actually are people here and you can see the full energy of the place when it's at full speed. So I look forward to a return visit sooner than later. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.